Happy Friday, guys. Welcome to the Toku Week in Review. What's up, Toku Nation? I hope you are doing well. We have got some Toku news to go over, and maybe I'll just keep saying the word Toku more and more times. Toku! Okay, I, I don't know where we're going today, but if you're still with me, you're probably really going to enjoy this. Let's get to some Toku news. We're going to start with Kamen Rider in general, because this is for multiple ones. Kamen Rider Climax Scramble Geo. Yay! You know what Climax Riders is? That's a video game, my friend, and it is coming to the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch does not have regions, which means, hello, people who don't live in Japan. We should easily be able to access it. And I'm probably going to be totally wrong, but you know what? These aren't like the most expensive. I think that's kind of hollow in there. But you know what? I hope we're gonna get. It. So far, the only writers included in it are Geo Gates and Build, or at least that we know about. And it's going to have a story mode and a battle mode for Rider Clashes. Story mode, lengthy gameplay. I like. The, I like the idea of that. I need. I need a Switch game of my own. I don't I have a Switch, but like my husband has a bunch of games he plays on it. But I just. I haven't found other than Mario. I haven't found a Switch game in my own, so maybe, maybe it's going to be Kamen Rider Geo. No further details are available as of right now, but I will let you know as soon as I know because I am excited or excited, however you want to sing it, Rider fans. <laughs> Let's go to Build the DX Blizzard Knuckle and North Bottle pre-order are now up. Let's see, uh, it's going to uh, reservations have begun already. I'm sorry, on July 29th, they do end August 27th. Full bottle set's going to be 3,800 shy of 3,900 yen. Build's also getting a second hyper bottle DVD, and we don't have a lot of information on it yet, but we do know there's a special silhouette, Kamen Rider Rogue on it. He's probably going to get a power up. Again, no more information, but keep your ears peeled, or eyes peeled. Just peel something, that's fine. Building the gap and crossing space and time, we're going to go between Build and Geo, which is build stuff for Geo, and that is the DX Grease Ride Watch has been announced. That's going to be 1500 yen. August 25th starts the pre-order. It's going to end on September 10th. And yes, that is a premium Bandai thing already. I think I read somewhere that there are already like three premium Bandai things up. This show hasn't even started. That's all right. That's all right. We also got builds. Right, watch those official images are out. That one's going to be fifteen hundred yen, and uh, it's going to just come out on August fourth. <sighs> At least you can get build. Easy. Sorry about that. Speaking of Geo, we got a whole bunch more scans. Looking at the armor, I'm really, for the sake of time, cannot go through reading all of these. But we got some amazing stuff with the ride watchers, the Jiku driver. Looking at all of the different armor types, just it makes me very very excited. Of course, we do get the first look at Geo on Build, be the one that comes out on August 4th. And I think, wait a second, August 4th, August 4th, yep, 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 so you can get Common Rider Build's Ride Watch to coincide with going to be the one and getting uh, to actually see Geo in action. I am really jealous and wish I was in Japan in a few days. There are some, and I don't, I probably won't have the links below, but things are starting to trickle out for reviews, so if you're interested in starting to see reviews for the uh, Jiku driver and all of the ride watches, just start keeping an eye out for them, or uh, let me know, I might retweet whenever I see some, but reviews and sounds and things like that are starting to leak out. <gasps> the hype is real! The hype is real! New Kamen Rider season. I just, uh, it's been, I seriously, other than like, Ghost, I've just, I've just, enjoy like Ryder so much since I started watching it with Gaim. A quick little detail though for like pricing and stuff, so now you might be wondering about that one. The Jiku driver is going to be 7,500 yen on its own. The Ride Watch holder is going to be 3,000 on its own. And if you want to get them, as I said, it's 10,500 yen. You save nothing, you lose. Good day, sir. More stuff from Build and Gia. We have the Cross Z Ride Watch. That's going to be the campaign item. Oh, yes, campaign items. You know how those goes. Uh, you have to purchase the Jiku Driver or the Jiku Driver and Ride Watcher Holder Set. 
they are limited they are you know you have to kind of get in when they do they're gonna start the campaign starts on september 1st keep that in mind whenever you want to buy your stuff make sure you can get that uh campaign item if you would like it and the last bit of geo news is if you're interested in the writer kicks series uh geo himself is going to be released in september for just shy of 2200 yen next up is lupin ranger versus path ranger and the, the show, the suits, the just, but the mechas are just starting to just pile on so much. Good Kuru Kaiser VSX. It's a mecha composed of 11 VS vehicles from the Lupin Rangers and Path Rangers. Three individual cockpits with each section representing a letter in VSX. That would have been more for effects, but I can't whistle very loudly. Just... Next up is the new Dial Fighter for the Lupin Rangers called the Magic Dial Fighter. It looks kind of like a blimp to me, but then it like an arm comes. It's kind of creepy, uh, honestly. It's a little creepy. It combines a Lupin Kaiser to form Lupin Kaiser Magic. Of course, it also has its own sounds if you want to put them in the changer, but it comes out uh, August 4th. Yay! Nobody has money on August 4th, and it's going to be 1800 yen. Not a lot of Sentai news this week, though, so let's go ahead and move on to Rube. We did get set two of the Rube Crystals. Those are the DX versions, of course. If you'd like to see, boom, boom, we've got Ultraman X, Ultraman Leo, Gergoron, and Red King. Sorry if I m missed any of those, uh, those, those things. But it's uh, going to cost you only 1,200 yen, which I actually don't think is that bad at all, and it comes out on August 4th. If you're going to buy anything on August 4th, just buy it. Just Buy me the Rube ones, okay? Please. I try to be cute. I'm just gonna fail. Also speaking of Ultraman Rube, who is Ultraman Dark? Well, okay, you know if you read the spoilers. But if you want to know, check out the links below. But he's making his evil debut next month. We also got some official images for the DX or bring Neo from Ultraman Rube. That's going to cost you 2,500 yen, set for an August 25th release. I believe this is like a transformation device also, if you were interested in that. If you want to collect, because, I mean, you're going to get all of these, these crystals, where are you going to put them? Oh, wait, that is going to be the Crystal Collection DX. Of course, it's going to hold 11 Rube crystals. It's going to be 2,000 yen, set for an August 25th release. I believe you do get one with it, and I'm sorry, I guess I didn't jot it down, but you do get a crystal with that set. Figure words! Say love everyone except for Kamen Rider Kiva! Bite me! I don't, I don't actually know where that one came from. Fangs, Kiva, bite. You know what, I'm leaving it in. We'll get a first look at the SH Figure Arts for Rube characters. We get Ultraman, Rosso Flame, Blue Water, Rosso Wind, and Blue Ground. Those are all going to be coming out. Mass Retail, uh, Flame, I'm sorry, Rosso Flame and Blue Aqua are going to be coming out December 2018, while Ground and Wind are going to be coming out in January. Speaking of Ultraman or Dark, when we were like, hey, who is that dude? Uh, guess what? He's also getting a figure art. Never keep him. He's going to be 6,000 yen. We don't really know anything other than that, but he's getting a figure art. So, meh. I'm sorry. I can't really be that excited about it because now I'm just bitter. Let's go to figure rise standards. Ultraman suit 7.4 and Ace suit have now been revealed at Summer Wonderfest 2018. We got the figure rise standard 1 12th scale Ultraman suit 7.4 and Ultraman Ace suit model kits. The prototypes that they're showing are currently unpainted, so we don't know when, how much, or anything like that. But they are on the way. At least they're attempting to have them on the way. Also in figure rise standard, we get Ultraman B-Type. He's gonna have LED light that can switch from red to blue. Only 4,500 yen, gonna see a release date of November 2018. Optional hand parts, effect parts, big cannon. Looks like it's gonna be kinda fun. Uh, heads up, I am doing a special for the Ranger Weekend Review, so Toku Weekend Review by Proxy. I'm doing a 50th episode live stream, so next week I will be live streaming this. Come hang out. We're going to have lots of fun. Look forward probably around like 8, 15, 8, 30 central, somewhere in there. But it will be my 50th week in a row 
with Producing a Ranger Week in Review and the 30th episode of the Toku Week in Review. That's right, this is the this is the 29th episode of the Toku Week in Review. So I really hope you guys come hang out, talk Power Rangers in the first half, and then Toku in the second half. I pretty much follow my exact same outline, except they do it all at once, and I use probably less pictures and uh, and but we have a lot more fun and, and chat. But I make up for it by trying to be witty and, in general, just silly on stream. So, hey, come on hang out. It'll be a lot of fun. Beyond that, uh, the weekend after, I'm not sure. I'm going to be at Power Morphicon. There's going to be some Sentai guests there, or Toku guests, if you're interested in going. It's in Anaheim, California. There will not be a Ranger or Toku Week interview while I'm at Power Morphicon because I am not filming while I am on a plane on Thursday, nor am I spending time on Friday instead of being on the con floor editing. Call me selfish. I don't care. I'm going to have some fun though, and I hope to be able to bring you guys some fantastic content, so keep an eye on the channel, and we're going to have a lot of fun. It's two weeks from today. Two weeks. It's going to be bonkers. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day. Hang out with me. Talk some toku. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope the rest of your weekend is fantastic, guys. My name is Ranger Liz. This is the silly old Toku Week in Review, and I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye! We also got to look at the DX Magic Trigger. No, not Trigger Machine. Dial Fighter. We also got to look at the DX Magic Dial Machine. That is not what it is called.